This demo will show you how to export a Power BI report to MS Excel data only output format. The report will be set to run every week on a Friday at 5 p.m. To begin, I'm going to select the single schedule wizard and for Power BI. Select the Power BI account that I'm going to use and choose the report and I'm going to run a sales report and click next to save that information. This is the scheduling tab. So the start date, as you can see, defaults to the date that the schedule is set up and the end date is set sometime for in the future. You can accept this default or if you want there to be no end date, simply uncheck the box. I'm going to set this report to run every week on a Friday. So I will uncheck everything else. The scheduling time is going to be at 5 p.m. So I will overwrite what's currently there. For more information on scheduling, please view the scheduling demo. For now, I'm going to click next to save what I've entered. This is the settings tab. If you want to change anything about these settings, you can simply click and change the settings. I'm going to accept the default, so I'm not going to make any changes here. I'll click Next. This is my Report Filters tab. And here I'm going to add a report filter of a salesperson. To add a report filter, you click Add. And then I want to filter it using the table. And the column. And I'm going to add the sales executive that I'm going to run the report for and click add. For more information on adding multiple filters, please view the report filters demo. I'm going to click next to save what I have here. This is the Refresh Datasets tab. If you want to refresh any of the datasets before producing the report, you would set that information up here. I'm going to click Next. And this is the destinations, and this is where I will select a disk destination. And I will put it into my PBRS reports. And the format that we're going to use is MS Excel data only. Just wait a few moments while the Power BI visuals load. Okay, now I can add. And I'm going to do the sales by year for this particular sales executive. And I'm going to add a row total. You can choose to export summary data or underlying data. I'm just going to go for the summary right now. Under the style tab, you can change the header. So in this example, I will make the header green and my column totals. I think they will have those as a lighter green and row totals again, a lighter green. Odd rows are currently set to white. I'm going to make them gray. And then my even rows are a shade of blue. Format options. If you want to provide the worksheet with a name, you can enter that here. Um, if you accept the default in the report, then leave it blank. If you want to password protect the workbook, you would do that here and enter a password. And that's everything I want to change. So I'm going to click OK to save it. Click Next. This is the Exception Handling tab. For more information on Exception Handling, please view the Exception Handling demo. Custom Tasks. Custom tasks can be applied to any schedule or ran on their own as part of an automation schedule. For more information on custom tasks, 
please view the custom tasks demo. I'm going to click finish to save the schedule. And so that you can see the report output, I'm going to manually execute this schedule. To do that, I click on the schedule, right click, and select execute. I'm using the process watcher so that you can watch the progress of the schedule. The schedule will take a few moments to run. Now let's go and look at that output. And here is my output, I'm going to access it. And I'm asked for a password, which we set up in the schedule. And here you can see the formatting. So it's changed my headers to green, my columns to light green, and then I have the grey and the darker blue that I chose. Christian Stephen Software. Bigger data, better business.